game no game it is ronan the traveler man thank you guys for rocking with the channel man i know i've been going for a little bit man we're working on some houses because i go back home to the dr next week i can't wait but i got a good question right here for me brother named richard he said ronan man i bought a ticket to cartagena this is my first time going to columbia should i cancel it a lot of things going on what do you think can you please answer me i value your opinion well brother richard let me tell you like this brother always follow your first mind but if i was in your shoes i've already bought my ticket i wouldn't let the situation that just happened with brother gregory stewart and rest in peace to the brother brother gregory stewart owens man prayers to his family is just a another senseless act of violence i hated that this happened but brother richard if i was in your situation what i would do is this man i wouldn't cancel my trip this is me but you do whatever you want i'm just gonna answer you but i would reach out to the experts look i'm a dominican guy man i, I know a lot about the dominican public I even know some things about mexico but what i would do if i was you that's why i tell you guys man join all the groups man join the passport bro the black men options the cartel there is people in the groups that can help you but even to go deeper than that if this is your first time going to um to the country i would maybe even book something with uh bmt the dc born rob or brother andre love crossing borders these people live in Colombia. I would reach out to these guys, man, because it's always safety in knowing a place before you go, man. It's definitely a good thing to do that. So, me myself, if I would just go, man, because let me let me let me tell you something, man. I'm gonna give you some tips, but let me tell you, the violence is everywhere. I'm here in Louisiana right now, man. It's a lot of violence. Just um a couple of weeks a weekend or something ago a man burnt up deleted three children so violence is everywhere so with me i've learned a few things in my travels to keep myself safe man so i'm gonna give you a few tips but maybe reach out to bmt or one of those brothers i just mentioned for a um just to get them to give you this game man and join these groups man and shout out to the blue book passport cartel man we're growing shout out to the passport bros man shout out to all you these groups it's very important that you touch down with other people i know a lot of times we want to be long wolves and i'm like that too but it's safety in numbers because if you're out there with four or five dudes man you're like you're less likely to get in any kind of issues but i'm gonna drop some tips my tips that i live by these are the tips i live by but brother richard man things can happen to you anyway don't let things hold you back just have a plan so look number one tip i can give anybody this is for any country dr united states whatever colombia anywhere you go avoid making yourself a target first do not walk around flaws and showing things look first time i got to santo domingo man i meet one of the chicks and she tells me point blank man me and her about to go out to eat she tells me hey you know what take that chain off you i have my chain on and everything and it's small i'm thinking it's safe she said no she's like baby 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 you need to take that off we, we don't want to bring attention she even told me straight up like once like how much money do you have? Don't bring a lot of money with you. And look, she was definitely a rider for telling me that. And she tell, told me some of these things that I'm, I'm telling you right now. So number one, you don't make yourself a target, man. You never make yourself a target. These things will help you, man. And then at night, man, don't walk around nowhere in these countries. Now look, Sasua, so you can walk around. This is different, but I'm talking about like Santo Domingo, the big cities, man, you in these places watch yourself man opt for a taxi or uber at night man because street robberies happen you can look at my videos i'm not walking around at night that much man because at night 
I'm in the house with something, or if I'm in a club or a restaurant, I leave, I dead jump into the taxi or the Uber and go where I'm going. That's number two, always out for transportation. Don't walk anywhere if you can. Now remember, Sasua is a exception. Sasua is a little bit different. Look, number three, this is very important, man. You go in these Latin countries, man, I keep telling guys, man, learn basic Spanish, man. Knowing the local language can enhance the travel experience, man. And I'm telling you, it will help you so much. If somebody draw down on you and ask you for your stuff, you don't even know what they're saying. These things will get you in a lot of trouble, man. Next thing, man, watch, monitor the local news and things. See what's going on in these countries while you're there. I pay attention to the Dominican Republic like I'm a Dominican, man. These are things that will keep you straight, man. You need to stay informed on what's going on, man. You could be in one of these, you know, you could be in one of these countries and some stuff break off, man. And you're sitting there, you don't know what's happening. Always be aware of your surroundings, man. This is another one. This is this is very important. Another tip, man. Guard your drink. Especially in Colombia, man. You know, people, man, they hitting you with that devil's breath, man. You can get in a lot of trouble, man. They scoping people out. They spike your drink very fast, man. A lot of these chicks, you think, especially in these dating sites, man. Man, watch yourself on these dating sites. Especially in in that area, man. Cartagena, man. Medellin, man. Watch yourself, man. Be careful. These are things you need to be careful of. And look. Next thing, man, this is something I have even witnessed before. Beware of fake police officers, man. Guys who are not real, real police officers, they will stop you, take all your stuff, and disappear. These are things that you definitely got to watch out for, man. I'm just giving you a few tips, man. These are my tips to these things I really watch out for no matter where I'm at. Next thing, man, avoid that drug activity, man. You know, you got a lot of dudes that's into these things, man. And you'll go to these countries and you're looking for it, man. You can get in a lot of trouble like that, man. Just be careful with all this, man. Avoid it by all costs if you can. Look, the next tip. Check the ATM for tampering. If you're going to put your card in something, man. If you're going to put your card in anything, man. Look at it. Make sure it's not nothing because they got these... Um, things that they hooked at the ATM can read your car man get you out of your bread next thing you know it just happened to me man I used my card somewhere right and the a bank I use contact me and somebody was trying to use my card in a whole other country they were like and by this time I was back in the United States and they were like I know that you're you're using your card right now and I was in Texas at the time but somebody else was trying to use my card and I think Mexico, and they were like, are oh, you, and you can't, and they had to cancel the card, cut it up, so watch this stuff, man. Look, this is my last and most important tip, man. Do not resist in case of robbery. Man, just give it to them. Let them have it. Don't wear the jewelry. I told you, the girl told me, don't wear the chain. Don't wear any of that. But if somebody come down on you, man, just let them have it. <laughs> let me, but I know how I feel not to want to get. Mickey, you know, I always got a story time. Man, this is a true story I'm about to tell you. Now, this is crazy. Like, look, this is this, this is a couple of years ago, man. So um, I had just, man, I think I got my income tax check. I got some money. And I decide, you know, New Orleans is a uh, city that don't sleep, especially in, in them time. And um, where I lived at, they had this circle k on the corner like broad and uh i wanted a hot dog man it's like two o'clock in the morning this place didn't close i get up i got money on me and i'm walking out i'm gonna go walk down two lane avenue to the place i hit a block and uh they had this little pathway that people would go through but in the daytime i hit the little shortcut at nighttime and i when i go through there it's dark but i'm coming up feeling like i'm a man you know i'm big and nobody will mess with me Somebody put their heat to my back. 
and I never saw their face. And man, but now this is crazy. He got he got that burner to me, and I got money on me, man. Nah, I don't want to give it up. And the dude like, let me have it. And I tell him, and I said, look, brother, day your lucky day. And I'm like, right now, I said, look, man, I'm a, I'm a police officer. I, I can't arrest you right now. I said, you see that car up there? I said, those guys, undercover cops. And we trying to, I said, we trying to bust somebody right now. If you just turn around right now and leave, you ain't gonna have no problems. And that shit worked. <laughs> the dude ran off. Guess he was old, like, base crackhead or something, man. And I couldn't believe that stuff worked, man. I ran off myself, man. But I still got that hot dog and went home. See how crazy I am. But it's crazy, man. Don't resist. Just give that stuff. Your life is more important. So, Brother Richard, man, I would still travel, but I would definitely seek count, uh, counsel from one of these brothers. I would talk to somebody, man, before I just go anyplace. But at the same time, man, follow your first mind. If you feel like you should cancel it, maybe you should, but man, we can't live in fear when things happening because the United States right now, you can see it, man, it's burning up, man. Not only is United States ultra zesty, but the crime in every city, man, there's crime everywhere. So if you, man, listen, look at your local city, man. So these things that happen in these foreign countries, man, they happen, but if you follow certain tips, man, give it to brothers, man, you will be okay, man. So join all these groups, man. Join all of them, man. You know me, I'm never a hater. I'm always about putting everybody up. And I'm telling you, man, join these groups and you will be okay, man. So hopefully this answers you. Everybody else that sent me a question, I will get to you, brother. I promise. Been working on some houses, trying to get ready to go back to the DR. And I'm out. Uh,